you are staying on that negative thought and that's why you are in war with your mind. And when you are at war with somebody, that is not your friend. That is an enemy. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. Welcome to the family. I hope you enjoy my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that post notification to be notified every time I drop a new video. I'm making this video because I was on social media and I was scrolling and I saw this post. Let me actually bring it back up. Before I tell you what the post said, after reading it, like I automatically start praying for the people that shared this post. I just, it touched me deep after like reading what the post said and actually realizing that a lot of people are are trapped. A lot of people are trapped in their minds. And let me just read you what the post said. So it said, being trapped in your own mind is a war. And I'm gonna post it somewhere on this video. I'm gonna post what it says. But I'm gonna mark out the person that shared it and the original person that made the post. It says, being trapped in your own mind is a war you cannot explain to nobody. And it has a lot of shares, a lot of likes, and it's just, I saw it at least three times on my timeline. And this is on Facebook. So when I initially saw the post, it hit me. Empathy. Empathy just automatically start running through me. Like I can feel the people's pain. I can feel the person pain that wrote this and the people that shared it. Like I feel for them. Your mind can be your best friend or it can be your enemy. Let me repeat that to you. Your mind can either be your best friend or your enemy, and it's what you allow it to be. Just repeat that one more time, one more time, so you can actually understand what I'm saying. Your mind can either be your best friend or your enemy. It's what you allow it to be. Meaning, you can have, you know, good thoughts. You can have bad thoughts. But if you are only entertaining the bad thoughts, that is what is going to continue to race through your mind. You should want your mind to be your best friend and not your enemy. So while you are entertaining the negative thoughts, that is the enemy. You're entertaining the enemy because you entertain it another one is going to come through because you allow you allowed the first one to go through you you allowed it to make you think either about the situation or think about that thought it allowed yourself to think on that thought i know it can it can be hard to just instantly not think of negative things and you can start small each and every day by just waking up in a better mood, saying positive things about yourself or positive things throughout the day. Those are little small steps that you can take to help your mind become your best friend. It's what you allow and it's what you think. If you start to have a lot of racing negative thoughts, start journaling. If you, if you start writing these things out, you'll notice the pattern. You'll notice these certain thoughts, the ones that are constantly reoccurring. And if you write these thoughts out, you will notice what you are constantly entertaining. Surround yourself with people that have have good energies, they're that, that are positive. If you surround yourself constantly around negative people, if you constantly watch and listen to negative, low frequency things, if you constantly watch media, if you're constantly on there, sometimes you need to just take a break from social media 
to regroup and it's okay to disappear for a month or two because your mental health, your mind state, you, the person that I'm talking to, you're, you're important. You are important and put yourself first. Know how all that feels and it's not a good feeling, but you have to put yourself in control and you have to honestly want better. You don't have to constantly feel the way that you feel. Sometimes you just have to sit and reflect on yourself and get to the root of the problem But why are you so trapped in the mind? To be able to control your thoughts and to to be able to control your thoughts, it starts with you. It starts with making some changes in your life. Well, I hope this video helps someone. I hope this video um, leads someone in the right direction. This message get out to someone that honestly actually need it. I continue to pray for everyone that is going through hard times. Because when you feel like a war with your mind, you're you're basically saying that your mind is your enemy. And you don't want your mind to be your enemy. You want your mind to be your best friend. And sometimes you just need to step away from certain things, certain people, and start looking within. I'm going to say this in every video, journal, write it out. We all have these handy dandy phones, like everybody got a phone. Write it in a, in a note on your phone. Don't entertain it because it's going to constantly bring more. But a helpful tip when the negative thoughts are coming to your mind don't stay on it for more than two seconds. Don't stay on it more than a second. Let it flow through your mind. Let the negative thoughts flow through. Because once you entertain the negative thought, that's when it becomes, it starts to repeat in your mind. It starts to come back to back to back to back to back. And then it starts coming with other negative thoughts because you're entertaining it. You are staying on that negative thought. And that's why you are in war with your mind. And when you are at war with somebody, when you are at war, that is not your friend. When you are at war, that is an enemy. That is something that is against you. So when you are at war with your mind, you are at war with the enemy. You are just in war with something that is trying to keep you where you are currently at, which is low. Make your mind your best friend, your whole circumstances your whole thought process everything can change with a drop of a hat like it can just instantly change and you have to be willing and want the change you have to want the change you have to be and you have to want to control your mind and it's not an easy process i'm not going to come up here and tell you anything that i preach about on my YouTube is easy because it's not easy. I go through things all the time too. And a lot of the times I go through the same thing sometimes that I'm making a video about and I have to remind myself, literally I'll be like, Ariel, like you just made a YouTube video about this. Like, come on, get back with it. Don't let it phase you. Keep on, you know, on the narrow path, on keep walking by faith, keep on doing what you're supposed to do, what you're supposed to be doing. 
So I'm human too. Like I go through the same stuff. I literally be telling y'all, I like to tell the next person what helped me. So once I figure out something that helped me or when I think it's sent to me to basically put out into the world, I put it out there. I put it out there because someone's going to receive it. Somebody's going to receive this message and someone's going to love this message. I don't know who. I don't know who. But it may be for you, you know? So, yeah, you have to want it. Have to want it. And this is not an easy road. This is not an easy, the easy fix. This is going to be a battle. But you are going to have to want to conquer and be in control and you have the ability to be in control start within start looking within because at times it gets hard it gets hard i know i know it gets hard but just watching my videos watching other positive content creators looking within, journaling, talking to God, all those things can help you and can keep you moving forward in life and moving forward with some things that you wanna change for the better. Just remember your mind can either be your best friend or it can be your enemy. And we want our minds to be our best friend. We don't want the enemy. We, we are in control. You are in control. And well, thank you for watching my video. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. I think right now I may be at like 150, 140 to 150 subscribers. I'm on a roll to 500 subscribers. I'm going to get that before the end of the year. I'm going to get that. I'm on a roll to 500 subscribers. And then from the 500, I'm on a roll to 1,000. We're building this and we're going to keep on uplifting each other we're going to keep on speaking positive into light we're going to keep on working on our traumas healing ourselves just doing good and like we're going to keep on just elevating and i'm happy whoever hit that subscribe button that's pretty much telling me that you want to join the family you want to join the fam bam you want to you know be in the click and i will catch you guys in the next one bye